The U.S. federal government collected $2.5 trillion in taxes last year, and total government spending was $2.7 trillion. These enormous numbers lead many voters to wonder what the presidential candidate's tax plans will mean for their wallets, and how the government should spend the money it collects. Those who are able to work the stock market and amass huge fortunes on capital gains are paying a lower tax rate than their secretaries. That's not fair. Obama says the current tax code is too favorable for the wealthy. He has said he would not increase taxes on households earning less than $250,000 per year. For people who make more than that, he would increase their income taxes, payroll taxes, and capital gains taxes. The tax cuts he has proposed include a $500 tax credit to every worker and further cuts and credits aimed at homeowners, students, and seniors. For tax simplification, Obama has proposed sending pre-filed forms that would let taxpayers who don't itemize complete their taxes in five minutes. And he would increase government spending in several areas, particularly the military and health care, paid for with savings from ending the Iraq war and his tax increases for the wealthy. To impose on the American people what essentially would be a tax increase of thousands of dollars per family in America is not something I think, well, I'm sure would be bad for the economy of this country. McCain argues that taxes need to be low for economic growth, and he says he will not raise any taxes. To help prevent tax increases, he would require three-fifths of Congress to approve any tax increase. He would make all of President Bush's income tax cuts permanent and proposes further cuts for businesses, people with dependents, and the estate tax. For tax simplification, McCain proposes an optional simple flat income tax that people could choose to use instead of the current tax code. And for government spending, McCain emphasizes the importance of cutting wasteful earmarks and business subsidies. McCain has also pledged to balance the federal budget by the end of his first term. Here's the vote gopher breakdown. The candidates disagree on whether taxes for the wealthy should be raised and on which groups new tax cuts should be aimed at. They would both try to simplify the tax paying process but disagree on whether to create a new tax code. And they disagree on their priorities for cutting spending. For more information on this and other issues, please visit votegopher.com. That's our dig. Now you decide.